Hi everyone, welcome to day 17 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one of the data analyst interview question. So let's see the question. The question says write an SQL query to find the customers who made purchase in all product categories. Now we have one table which is the customers table. We have customers ID and customer name and we have purchase table where we have purchase ID, customers ID and the product category. So your query should return the customer's ID and the customer name of these customers. Let's see the data that we have inside the table. So the first table that we have which is customer's table. We have the customer's ID. These are the customer's ID. These are the customer's name that we have. And let's see the purchase table. In the purchase table, we have purchase ID, customer's ID, product category. So we need to find out the customer details who has purchased in all the product category that we have. So let's see how we can solve these questions, right? So let's write down the things that we need first to solve these questions. So first we need to basically return the details of customer's ID and the customer's name, which we will be getting from the first table, which is customer's table, right? So we need first customer's ID, which is going to be customer's ID and we will need like customer's name, right? So we will need customer's name. So we need all these things who have purchased in all categories. So what we can do is basically we, we can find out like how many total categories are there in purchase table, right? So we can find like total, you know, total distinct category. That means how many category we have in the purchase table. So we can find out that and then basically we can compare like the customer who has purchased. So how many from how many category, how many distinct category the customer has purchased from, right? So we can say how many distinct category each customers category each customer purchase from so basically we just need to find out these things and we need to join both the table right so we need to join both the table and we need to basically do a group by right by the customers id now customers id you can see it is available in both the uh, both the table so based on the customers id we can do the group by and we can basically solve this question so let's see how we can solve this so first i need which is basically customers id so that's i'm getting from the first table which is this customers table right so i'll be saying select select okay now i can give a alias to the customers table which is c so i'm saying select customers id customers id and i also need the customers name so c dot customer name okay these two things i'm getting from the first table which is this one which is going to be customer name spellings are correct now other than that i will basically need the count of you know like the count of distinct category purchase the customer cut purchase from how many you know distinct categories so to do that i can do the simple thing i can just go ahead and say p dot you know i can say count first count of p dot okay p dot that means p dot purchase table isn't it so i can go ahead and say count of uh, purchase let's see the column name in the purchase table so i basically need to count this column which is product category right so i can say p dot product category okay. so category okay. now i'm saying p dot product category but distinct that means this is going to return me this is going to return me like this customer's id and their customer's name and like how many uh, category they have purchased from right so let's see now to find this count we need to do a group by, by this customer's id and the customer's name so first uh, first make some uh, so let's first do the join bit to join both the table so i can j just say that from i'm getting this customer's id the customer name from the first table just customer's table i can give a alias called c and then i'm joining both the table based on the same column which is going to be what which is going to be customer's id right so i can say join purchase as p now on p dot customers id equals to c dot customers id which is seems to be perfect now i need to do a group by by this two categorical column so that i can see the count of distinct product category so why i'm doing distinct product category i'll just show you in a second so let's say i'm saying group by because i want to see each customers and their total purchase distinct category right so group by i would say group by first column and second column so i would say first column and second column like this way I can just copy paste it here and I can say group by this two column. Now if I just run this query, you will see that customer's ID and customer name and their total purchase from the different category. Now this customer has purchased from four category, right? You can see now this customer has purchased from one category, this customer has purchased from two or three category. So this is how basically we can see how many distinct category they have purchased from. Now if I just remove this distinct and if I just run this because same customer can have 
purchase multiple time from the same category isn't it so i can just run it now i can see this customer which is alice it was fourth category you know like four distinct earlier now this customer has purchased two times from the same category now if you want to verify it i can just go back to the data and i can see who is this customer which is alice is a customer id one now let's see customer id one purchase which is our first category electronics second category books third category clothing fourth category again electronics so basically this customer has made two purchases in the same category okay now this customer has also purchased which is our you know beauty category so basically this customer has purchased all the category in all the category including one category twice so we simply need to find out the customer who has purchased in all categories but we basically we're selecting this thing here to ensure that we are only getting the distinct category counts so that we can compare with using a having close at the end now we know that if this count is basically if i make like say this thing here now if we know that if this distinct count okay let's first see how many distinct category we have in the purchase table so we can go ahead and say select uh, select and that we can say that count of distinct category like this one from purchase table purchases right so let's see how many distinct category we have so that's going to be let's say oops i cannot say me dot here i can simply do it like this way now we can we have four distinct category basically we have four distinct categories so what we want basically show us all the customer who has at least four distinct category count here right so that means that's how we can understand that okay the customer has purchased from each category because we have four distinct category if you want to see the distinct category name as well I can just remove it and just run it again now you will see the name i just need to remove this bracket okay now you can see that distinct category name this four like how many distinct category we have in the purchase table these are electronics clothing books and beauty so we have all these four category so we want to see the customers who has basically purchased from all the fourth category that means from fourth distinct category isn't it so that's the reason we are basically using this keyword here so that we can basically do one more apply do apply one more filter to select those customer who has four uh, you know basically count here okay now we can go ahead and say having having and we can say this count which is count of distinct category equals to and now we can use a basically sub query to put here and select basically distinct category right now if i just run this one like this one here i can say distinct count now this is how i ensure that this query return what this query return four right so i want to select the customers who has done purchase in fourth i mean four category correct so i can use a sub query i'll just put in next line so i can just use a sub query now this sub query is going to return me four okay now here i will have four now i am just comparing and only selecting those customers who has purchased in four distinct category right that's how i ensure that the customer i'm selecting are basically purchased in all the category now if i just run it you will see the customers one which is this customer which is alice and purchase in fourth distinct category that means this customer has purchased in each and every category now i can just so remove it because this is not required in the questions so i can just remove it i have just uh, taken an example to show you this now if i just run it i have the customers and customers id who has purchased in all the category now we can just go ahead and verify it so we can see alice so let's see the table in the table we have alice which is uh, this one customers id one that is alice now alice has purchased in the electronics alice has purchased in books clothing and uh, beauty so these are the only four uh, you know distinct category we have so alice has purchased in all the category so this is how we can basically solve uh, you know any kind of complex uh, problem just by breaking into a small small you know problems and uh, this is how we can basically solve the questions so i have a small task for you let me just show you the task so the task is that write an sql query to identify the customers who have not made any purchases in electronics category so you just need to show me the customer details who has not purchased from electronics categories right if you want to download this data just check the video descriptions i'll be adding my github link so that you can basically copy paste the link and go to your basically you know pg admin or mysql and create the table and basically practice the same questions and you can write down your solutions in the comment box that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you like my content do subscribe to my channel have a good day see you tomorrow